So today's video is we're gonna do my July favorites. You guys, I have a lot of favorites for this month. So if you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you guys to go down below with the subscribe button. Make sure you guys also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we guys do not miss any posts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other suggestions for like fun content. Let me know and I can definitely, you know, I'll definitely do that for you guys like some really fun videos. For further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so first of you guys are literally my favorite products. I have the e.l.f. brow kit. This is the shade called Medium. So I'm still working on this one right here. I really have you guys. I'm going through all of my literally brow shades of like these kind of pans. If you guys ever are medium lights or like that, this is a really good product. You definitely need it in your collection. And the next thing, you guys, I already put on my brows as well. The Wonder Beauty called clear this is getting so close of right now i love brow gels so much i'm gonna show you how the applicator looks like this is how small the applicator looks like but i really really love this brow product if you guys ever need a really good brow product this is the one you definitely definitely want to try all right so the next thing you guys i'm actually working on right now. This is the Hard Candy Glitter called Emo. But I have so much left. This is gonna be empty really, really soon. So once this Hard Candy one runs out, I'm gonna go to this 352C Cucumber from One Wild. That's this one. I've gone through so many of these and I cannot believe how many I've gone through. So stay tuned for both of these and you guys will definitely see both of them. One of these two and my empties, but these are so good. And then also, this is the one I actually bought at the thrift store a long, long time ago. It's the Mel Chocolate Eyeshadow. I think this is from Bobby Brown or something. I'm not really, really sure. I'm not gonna use this as an eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use this as a brow product. So that's what that one looks like. And you guys will definitely see this in my empties very, very soon. Because I'm really happy I'm doing is that if I do have some eyeshadows that are like brown color, I'll just use them as an eyeshadow or as a brow product. But you guys will see these in my empties very, very soon. But I'm just really glad I bought this two years ago. So stay tuned. The other thing I actually am working on, you guys, is my Make a wipe. This is the one I'm working on. You guys can see it's literally getting to the end, but this will still be in the empty. And then I also have a backup, but you guys will see this next. And you guys, I cannot believe you guys to see my end video. And I'm really happy of like how much stuff I've gone through. So you will see that in the next video. So. Make sure you guys subscribe for that. Make sure you guys stay tuned for it. But no matter how many makeup wipes you guys I've had for a long time, I'm starting to go through them. And if I ever, ever get any makeup wipes from like that from different brands, then I will still include them in my empties because I love trying out tons of wipes, like no matter what the brand is. So this one expires on September 2021, and this one expires on December 2020. Why am I already going through these? Because some of them are like this year, and some from last year. See them very, very soon. And then the other two, I'm gonna put them like to the side. I have two more of them, <laughs> and I can know how many I've gone through. Right, this expires on December 2020. And this expires on June of 2021. So some of these are expired from this year, some of these expired from last year. Those are the next ones. And then I will include a lot of other wipes too, but I'm so excited. I'm hoping I get more very soon. And the next thing you guys want to know is I have three eyeshadow palettes I actually am using right now. So right now I'm already using this Mac Studio eyeshadow palette. 
So right now I'm already using this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. This one's getting close up right now. This one, this one's not empty yet, but I'm I'm still using this one because I'm just trying to like you know use up some other shades. I'm gonna leave this one how it is because I just want to go through my other eyeshadow palettes. We'll definitely go to other stores and pick out some other brands too. But you'll definitely see this in my upcoming feature empties. And then the other thing I'm actually using next also right now, the color Mates one. This is the 12 long wearing fashion eyeshadow palette. So the only ones I scraped out of this palette are these three. And I still have all of these shades and I have all of these ones right here. I'm really glad I'm kind of scraping all these shades out so I can put it into my Marc Jacobs palette. Can't wait to try out more Marc Jacobs palette. I can't wait to try the Charlotte Tilbury. I think that's how you say it. I really want to try out her brands from my Boss of Charm. So I'm hoping I will definitely get more Marc Jacobs and other brands. I just need a lot of stuff, you guys. But I'm really happy I'm, I'm actually clearing this thing out so you can see this in my empty. And this is the other Marc Jacobs one. This is the 800 Flame Boy Ink eyeshadow palette. This is the one with the tiger. So the, I kind of filled this thing up into the one you guys already saw. This one's already filled up, this one's already filled up, and this one's already filled up. I'm just doing that so that way I can kind of like go through the shades and also get rid of these eyeshadow palettes. But you guys will see one of these ones and two of these other ones too in my collection. What I'm trying to do you guys is that I'm just trying to like clear out some of the products that I already am working on, empties, and then um, if I have like a bunch of like a full bag of beauty products, you guys know I film that and then you guys will see it in my upcoming feature videos because I'm really happy. I'm really like kind of get them ahead so that way I can kind of like go through it and you guys will see a ton, a ton of empties and other brands too. All right, the other thing was to know is I'm still working on this Garnet Classic Water. It's like my favorite one. If you guys ever have type of dry skin or combination type of skin, you know, like vitamin C, it's also brightening and glows on your skin, one you definitely, definitely want to try. This is the Garnet Skin Active Mustard Cleansing Water. See, all-in-one brightening, removes makeup, cleanses and glow, no rinse, no scrubbing, faceless and eyes, dull skin, even sensitive, no alcohol fragrance, and trauma just tested for safety. Love this stuff. And you guys will see this one very, very soon in my upcoming feature empties. And the next one, I'm definitely going to put this in my empties sometime soon. The Garnet Green Last Brightening Gel Wash. I'm in C and Pineapple. Doll and Uneven Skin. Vegan Formula. No Animal Reserve Gradients. Sulfase. No Parabens. And no Parabens and Dyes. I really like this stuff. So what I do first is I use this. If I can't get it off then I just use my Garnet Cleansing Water. But then if that one doesn't really come off my makeup and then I just use makeup wipes or my cotton waters or something like that. And you guys will see a lot of new stuff and a lot of movers in my empties, but I'm really happy of what I'm doing for my collection. So you guys will see a ton of other stuff in my empties. And then the other one I'm already working on right now is this Pixie Skin Treat Glow Mist. I love this sun spray so much. I cannot believe, guys, this is like my fifth sun spray I'm already working on right now. I definitely need more sun sprays very soon, but if I ever get any or two sets of two of the sun sprays like in one, then I will definitely like put that in my collection because I'm telling you guys, there's just so much brands I definitely need in my collection because I want to do a full phase of first impressions, do more hauls. I really have not done any more hauls in a really long time, but I will definitely, I, once this whole COVID thing is like, get back down. And then the one I'm gonna use after is the Tarte Stay Spray 
sun spray. This is the one I actually got in my Ipsy offer in my Plus. I can't wait to get more sun sprays very soon, but anytime if there's any like stuff around it, it's okay, because I'm still gonna like include them in my MDU. And the next two are my favorite favorite palettes ever is my highlighter. All right, so first one you guys know I am working on is this Smashbox highlighter called Pearl. So this one in the Smashbox, it only has about two of these type palettes. This one, and there's another one. I don't know what the another one name was called, but this is what it looks like. I already put this one right here. Just this one, this is the Ray of Light one of the heart one. And I just put it into this one. And the reason why I did that, because this one is already like emptied out. And I was like already going to this one. And then I thought, you know what? Since I'm already like clearing this thing out, go ahead and just put it into this one, which I'm really, really glad I did. Still gonna keep doing it until this one is completely gone. I have a ton of these ones and other ones in my collection because I need more highlighters so bad. All right, so the other one I am working on is this one. If I ever don't really have, I, you guys, I'm just gonna leave my two bags as it is. I have this one as my actual beauty empty bag. Another one as my actual like everyday deep home care type of thing. This one is the Real L Paris True Match Super Blendable Blush C34 Tender Rose. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see it, but in person, I can see it's already getting close of the project pan right now. I'm just gonna leave it how this one is, and then I will go to this one right after. I do have some of my mom's beauty products that I already am like working on or go through. And I'll just like leave it in this bag or I will include a lot of skincare also soon. And then I have this L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Blush called N34 Instant Blush. So this one, it comes with, it's a blush. And the very bottom comes with this brush and then also in the mirror with it. And the next thing you guys, I actually am working on in is my foundation. So right now I'm using this Maybelline New York Dream Stain Liquid Foundation and Hydrating Serum. Also the shade 30 Avery Beige. Oh, I have to say my favorite thing about this foundation, it does keep your skin really hydrated and it's also full coverage. An amazing thing about it is that you can just twist it and then that way it's locked and that way you can't like pump it out but if you ever want to use it you have to twist it this way and now we can like pump it and this one doesn't actually come with a cap and every time like this one like does get closed like right out and i add this dark one right after the hard candy just face it featherweight formula one step foundation this is the shade 366 deep the only one that i have left that matches me with this one. If you guys ever have tan and stuff, it's really good to always mix your foundation into one of your bottles so that way you can like use it. It works really well and I love doing that. If you wanna do the same thing I did, then you guys can totally do it because I love adding and mixing my foundation. It can literally match me perfectly. So this one's gonna be empty anytime soon and then this will be next right after. Like no matter how many foundations you guys I go through, it will still include in my empties. And literally in total foundations, I have 22 foundations left. All right, so the other thing you guys I am working on is my perfumes. I cannot believe you guys how much perfumes I've literally gone through. So the first one you guys know I'm still working on is this Japanese Cherry Blossom. So right now, I'm literally right there. This is getting so getting close to right now. Oh, I just love that smell. It doesn't have like a strong fragrance, but it's so good. That will be empty very, very soon, but I'm really happy like how much perfumes I'm just like 
going through and everything. And then the other one I'm gonna use right after, it's my favorite perfume ever, it's called Sweet Pea. This is the first one I've ever gone through in my perfume and video. And then the other one I'm working on right now is called this Spectrum 70 FL alcohol. I just can't really tell, but I'm getting, really getting there of going through. That's right there. This is the last hand sanitizer I actually have. I'm gonna put some on right now. The only thing you guys, like, I'm really excited to try is the Disney of their hand sanitizer because I have never ever put those in my empty and in my collection before. All right guys, we have like three products and we literally made it to the end. So this is the gum I told you guys before. This is the first time I'm ever trying this in my collection. Icebreakers, ice cubes, strawberry, and lemon. I know I've said I'm not gonna like buy any more gum, but anytime I see any like new flavor that I've never tried before, I just love cleaning these in there because they're so good. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells really good. It doesn't have a strong fragrance or anything like that, but if you guys ever love strawberry and love lemon like combined together, this is the one you definitely want to get at the drugstore. Okay, so the one I had to put on my list because my lips were like so chopped. The last one of the Natural Lux SPF 15 sunscreen. It's a bomb called 215 called Hepatitis. This is literally how much I love. This is like literally getting to the end part. So when this one actually runs out, then I'll probably put it into this one. This is the last one called the Priya Medicaid Chef Eyes Lip Balm. The last one I put in, when I put in here because I was just trying to like get this one out of my collection. And then the last thing you guys, I want to put this in here. This is the one I've been using most of the time. The Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Therapy Oil for scars, stretch marks, dry, damaged skin, even skin tone and aging skin. So right now I'm really getting to the end part, but I definitely, definitely want to buy another one of these. If you guys are ever like, you know, messing around your skin or something, then this actually helps. I don't know it's like safe for pregnancy, but you can literally read the ingredients effect there and how to use it. Alright guys, so that is literally all of my fair products for of July. I can't believe how much products I really talked about. But if you guys absolutely love these kind of videos, make sure you guys go down below the Skype on it. Make sure you guys have notifications on. If you guys ever are really excited to see my Boss of Charm, like three of them, let me know in the comments down below or hit the thumbs up that way I know if you guys actually want me two of these. I actually you guys on my Instagram a lot of you guys say yes. So that's what's gonna happen. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And let me know if you guys have any suggestions for like fun con content. Because I know and I could definitely do it for you guys sometime in the future. Because I really like in the head in the future kind of thing. Thank you guys all so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.